Rabbi Leo D, the man whose wife and two daughters were gunned down by Palestinian terrorists in the Jordan Valley in April, is demanding a public apology from CNN. Lucy D and daughters Maya and Rena were murdered on the Passover holiday by Palestinian gunmen who opened fire at their car, shooting them over 20 times. CNN host Christian Amanpour said that members of the D family were, quote, killed in a shootout. Let's take a listen to her exact words. We also have the mother of two sisters, Israeli British sisters. They were, ki they were killed in a shootout and now the mother has died of her injury. Now, Christian Amanpour has sent a private letter to Rabbi Leo D saying that she misspoke and failed to catch it in real time. Now, still with the story earlier, I spoke to Rabbi Leo D from Efrat in the West Bank. So for more reaction, we now welcome Rabbi Leo D joining us from Efrat. Rabbi, thank you so much for your time on this day. So you and your family have gone through an unimaginable ordeal. How did it feel to hear CNN's Christian Amanpour saying your wife Lucy and daughters Maya and Rena were killed, quote, in a shootout, suggesting there was an exchange of gunfire? Your reaction? The fact that they said they were killed and not brutally murdered by uh, evil Palestinian terrorists funded by Iran um, is the typical um, CNN-ism. Uh, where they basically try and make this uh, a comparison between the victim and the terrorist. So, Rabbi, I understand you have had a private response from CNN, have received a phone call from the head of the Israel desk apologizing, saying Christian Amanpour misspoke. She also sent you a private letter. Tell us more about the reaction, the letter, and what was said in that phone call. Christian uh, uh, Amipol wrote me a very brief uh, email apologizing for any misunderstanding that might have been caused by the fact that she called it killing by a shootout, uh, which, would, which she said suggested that it could have been a mutual shootout. Um, and of course, it's not worth the paper it's printed on because when you make a statement in front of 100 million people on primetime television and then you apologize in a, uh, an email to a single person, um, it has about one 100 millionth of the impact. Um, and even if she were to apologize, frankly, for five minutes, you know, at midnight on a Sunday night, which is probably what they might offer, um, that will not have the impact. You can't retract um, a statement like that, which is libelous against my wife and daughters. Um, of course, uh, because it was such a libelous statement, I actually received a call from her boss, who's the head of the, um, the Jerusalem Bureau. Um, and we had an interesting conversation because I said to him, um, tell me, Richard, um, do you believe that there is a moral equivalence between uh, the killing of my uh, wife and daughters and the killing of a, a um, um, the, the son, the, the, the terrorist murderer, uh, and, and comparing the pain of the mother of that murderer who was neutralized by the Israeli forces, and comparing that to the brutal, uh, violent murder of my um, daughters and wife by the hands of Arab terrorists funded by Iran? And the interesting answer from this fellow was, you are a rabbi, I'm a journalist, uh, you can make that judgment, and I can't. So I said to him, well, I think you're a human being as well as being a journalist, and as a human being, I would imagine you can make a judgment, and you could probably decide whether you feel in your heart of hearts uh, whether or not these two are morally equivalent. Is it morally equivalent, uh, the brutal murder at close range by Kalashnikov and 20 bullets by two uh, murdering terrorists, Arab terrorists, uh, of three innocent women uh, on the way up to holiday in the Galilee, um, is that equivalent to the Israeli army killing a murderer um, and actually pr 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 saving mankind from future murders, uh, interviewing his mother, who's tearful about that particular death, uh, to which he said, we clearly don't agree. Um, you have your opinion, I have my opinion. Um, and um, it did make me wonder the level of humanity the victim are morally the same. Um, and that, unfortunately, has been the message of CNN for many years. We have also reached out to CNN for a reaction on this very story. Rabbi, I understand you are considering a $1.3 billion lawsuit against CNN for refusing to apologize on air. Would an on-air apology make a difference, a retraction, a correction? What do you want to see from CNN? There's only one thing uh, that would actually uh, atone for this particular sin, to be honest, is that they changed their attitude towards Israel. As you know, um, according to Freedom House, which is the international standard for human rights in the Middle East, 
Um, Israel is the only free country in the Middle East. And in fact, we're surrounded by countries which have no freedom, such as the Palestinian Authority, which has a score of 25 uh, compared to the Israel score of 77. Um, freedom House describes the Palestinian authorities as being not free. Um, Gaza has a score of 12, not free. Iran has a score of 14, not free. And Syria has the lowest score by Freedom House in the world, which is a score of one, which means that it's extremely not free. So when um, CNN, who claim that they um, don't make moral decisions, but they actually uh, uh, just apply moral equivalence between everybody, um, when they ignore all the facts of Freedom House, which is an international standard for human rights, right. they're effectively uh, causing a anti-truth. An anti-truth meaning that, that they are blaming Israel, which is the only free country, for the evils in the Middle East, right. when the non-free countries um, are clearly the cause. Rabbi Leo D, thank you so much for speaking to us from Efrat. We appreciate your time on this day.